Welcome back to the Blonde Psychic Tarot. Today we are looking at the abundance for 2021 for the rest of the year. Please take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share if you haven't done so. If you have already, I would appreciate um, you doing so. Sorry, I said that real backwards, didn't I? If you haven't done so already, please take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share. If you have done so already, thank you so much. Thank you for staying with me in my community. Um, 2021 is going fast, so we're looking at the rest of 2021 for the rest of the year in this movie. We are covering quite a lot. We're going to do blessings, charms, general tarot messages, luck messages, family messages, spiritual messages, um, money and career, love and what you need to know. So it's going to be quite in-depth reading. Make sure you watch it completely to the end. Like and share the video. That would really help me in my community as well. I would really appreciate that. Um, I think that's about all I have to do in the beginning spill. Please, um, Sorry, also the timestamps will be below in the description as usual, one, two, or three. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So let's get into your reading. I hope you enjoy it. Take care. Group one, we are going to start with your blessing messages. What blessings can group one expect to come into their life in 2021? Oh, you only got two, okay. Four months. So in four months' time, something is going to take place. Is that July? Is July four months away? April, May, June, July. Oh my goodness. Four months in July, something big is going to happen in your world and it's exactly four months away. That is a bit crazy, isn't it? We're going to put them there and we're going to clarify with the tarot what that's going to be. I wasn't going to um, clarify anything, but this needs clarification. What's happening for group one in four months time, please, spirit? Okay, that wanted to come out. Okay. Okay, so your finances are unbalanced at the moment. You're going through financial hardship, difficulty. Um, I think you need to find financial help. So you need to go see a financial counsellor or um, someone to really help balance you, your finances and get your finances in check. Job loss for some of you. Um, just not making a new, enough income. Some of you are having a baby and you're really stressed out about um, how you're going to step forward within this, you know, this time and need. Because at the moment you've got Five of Pentacles, um, Temperance Reverse and Queen of Cups Reverse. So it is a very challenging time for you at the moment. You're going through job loss and um, hardship and Temperance and Queen of Cups are reversed. So it's really affecting you emotionally as well. Um, really having sleepless nights about this and um, yeah it's not a good time for you at this point in time in your life but you will make a decision to get help regarding your finances there will be a turnaround in the situation you so two of talks two of swords talks about um, taking the action towards making a decision to better your life and it will bring you out of the fear and anxiety that you're currently experiencing with regard to your finances so your financial situation will turn around it will get better and um, you'll be blessed with in four months time your finances um, will completely turn around and you'll be blessed with good news regarding your finances. So that's got some positive news there. Now let's have a look at your tarot messages in general. I think, yes, I'm using my own decks. Every single one of these decks are my own. So that's a bit exciting. Queen of Wands reversed. In action. Nothing happening in your, in your life at the moment. The sun. Happy times are coming though. Queen of Cups, yes, you're emotional, you're a mess, you're all over the place at the moment, aren't you? Strength, not being strong, not holding on. Page of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, yes. Okay, so at the moment you've got three cards reversed and three, sorry, four cards reversed, three upright. You're not, it's very, I feel like you're stuck in a rut. You are um, you have all these bills coming in or you're stuck in this um, troublesome time of your life where... You're not taking action towards anything. You're very emotional. You've gone through this hard time and you don't know because Eight of Pentacles Upright talks about fighting and growing and really taking action towards um, your happiness because your happiness here is ultimately what you want because you've got the sun. But look, you're not strong. You're emotional because you've got Queen of Cups reversed, um, Queen of Wands reversed, in action and Eight of Pentacles reversed. You're all over the place at the moment. You're emotionally unbalanced. You're emotionally all over the shop. 
not having a good time in life. But remember, within four months, so by July, your situation will be turning around completely, okay? By July, you're going to have a brand new beginning. Page of Pentacles, it is like um, a child. So it's the very start. It's going to happen very slowly, okay? But the ultimate goal here is the sun. You will get your happiness back. Good fortune, joy, happiness, joy, and harmony. So you will be working towards your happiness slowly between now and July. You'll be taking steps to clear the negative mind frame, negative thoughts, um, negative thinking will start disappearing. You'll be, uh, be taking proactive steps slowly because pages are slow movers, okay? Um, they're not new, they're very slow. But you will be taking this slow approach to this new beginning by... July and you will be completely happy by July and your life's going to turn around completely by July and you're going to have a brand new beginning in and happiness career fortune okay the world is going to be transforming by July okay and then you did get the message there in your blessings jar okay to indicate this let's talking about career and money let's have a look at career and money with my career deck career and money deck deck that wanted to pop out for you and this one what do we have here? Ten of Pentacles. See, you're working towards your Ten of Pentacles. At the moment, you're only at Five of Pentacles. You're experiencing loss. You're experiencing hardship. You will be getting to your Ten of Pentacles. And by July, you'll be making your way slowly towards your Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like you're going to go through a new um, growth, a new stage of regeneration, maybe new um, employment, or maybe it will be as simple as family or friends helping you or getting on, um, in Australia, we have something called Centrelink. So it will help you. Um, it's kind of like government help. So maybe you get some kind of government help just till you get back on your feet. Just, and it won't be a long-term thing because you're a very <laughs> strong-willed, independent person. You're just going through a hard time at the moment. So it is indicating you will work your way towards your Ten of Pentacles. Um, good fortune will be coming and it will start slowly working your way towards it between now and July. But you won't get it completely until the end of the year, I'm thinking. But July, things will start to pick up, okay? And children. Kids light up your life. You care for, teach or heal children. So a lot of you are having a child and it is hardship to do with a child. So you're thinking, how am I going to afford this child? I've just lost my job or I've just broken up with my partner. Something has rocked your world completely and you don't know how you're going to afford this new child coming to your life. It is a blessing. God has, remember, God gives us what we can what we can only control. So you will get your way through this. You will get a knight in charming armor in a sense. You will get um, help in the form of family, friends, or government assistance. Don't worry, it is going to happen. Your world is going to start transforming. Finances are start going to look up, and it is, you're thinking, how? How am I going to get out of this situation? It is going to happen slowly. It is going to be in the means of family, friends, or um, government help. Don't be too proud to take it. You need to survive. You need to feed your children. You need to feed, um, you know, your family and friends. You need to feed your family and friends. Did you realize what I just said? I was on a tangent then of thinking, you're very stubborn and you don't want to take this help. But you know what? The help is there. You need to feed yourself and your family. So take the help when it comes, okay? Let's see what other areas of your life you need to focus on with my... Um, horoscopes so you need to concentrate on your 12th house the zodiac com completes with the 12th and final house which rules endings this house covers the final stages of a project tying up loose ends completions the afterlife old age and surrender it is also associated with the separation from society institutions hospitals jails hidden agendas don't get too caught up on what this card says okay it's just indicating that you're at the stage of your life where you're going through an ending and starting a brand new beginning as i've said a couple of times now this financial situation this hardship you're going through will finish and it's tying up loose ends you're currently tying up loose ends loose ends you're doing research about how to get out of this situation and get into a new situation which will completely transform your life and it's going to happen slowly it's not going to be some miracle cure it's going to happen slowly and by july to mid end of the year you'll be looking at a completely different phase of life and your life will be looking up okay let's look at some of the luck that is coming in for you these are my angel number cards. Oh, you got two. 
So some of you will be dealing with a fire sign or some of you are a fire sign. So a fire sign is really important to you in your connection here, okay? Um, it is indicating balance as well. So balance, it is also saying balance will be coming completely back into your life, all right? So even though you're in this chaos and um, going through this hard time, a balance will be restored once again. So don't stress too much, okay? Fire sign, um, so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, definitely coming in for you to help you as well. And number one, this shows that you do rely on yourself. You're very independent, you're very strong-willed, and you just like for depending on yourself quite a lot. The number one comes first in every known symbolic system. In this way, one is primary and original. The first day of the year, the first day of the month, first day of school, or the first day of a new job. In this way, the number one represents beginning of any new series or events. Again, indicating you're going through a complete transformation in your life at the moment. You're going through an ending. The cycle has ended. The hardships will be ending. You're um, relying on your tough fighting spirit. Yes, it has got you down. Yes, you've given in to the negative moments thinking, how am I going to get out of this? But help is coming. Don't worry. Your life's about to transform, okay? It's all about changing our mindset, getting out of the negative, trying to focus on the good and bringing the good into your life, okay? It will be happening. You will be going through some changes in your life, which is good. All right, let's get your fortune cookie. Let's get you some lucky cards, okay? A golden egg of opportunity falls into your lap this month. So the changes are starting sooner rather than later. Something is going to happen this month, something proactive that is going to I feel like it's um, a sequence of events that's going to be happening. So this change happens and um, yeah, this change happens and it brings beautiful opportunity and growth coming into your life. It sets off a sequence of events that will bring a complete change into your world. So you meet someone this month. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it's like a meeting or you reach out with someone. Um, it's like a Say you do go and get financial counselling and then at the financial counselling you meet someone that you really like and you um, want to go on a date with. Like It sets off a sequence of events that change your life completely. All right. So whatever you're doing this month, make sure you do it. Make sure you follow it through because it's going to set off the sequence of events that will change the course of your whole life, the direction of your whole life. That's a really exciting message that's coming through, isn't it? Let's get you a, um, whoa, that came out really fast. Lucky macaroon message. Congratulations, you are on your way, see? I think the beginning st step for you guys is just making the initial step in the first place, like taking that step, making the appointment, losing the negative self-talk, um, Losing the mind fuckery, losing the self doubt, losing the I can't get out of this situation because you can. And this tarot reading is showing you that you can. It is completely within your control. And you taking the first step to start thinking positively and start positively and to start um, acting proactively is the first step in changing your world and transforming your world. And boy, do you have some big transformations coming up. Let's get you some Manifesting Alice cards for the rest of the... Whoa, that came out so fast. As I said, your world's transforming. Look what flicked out from my Manifesting Alice deck. Celebration. Good times coming up. You are going to meet somebody that is going to transform your world. And I think it's going to be a fire sign that's going to bring balance into your world. And I know you, you're very independent and you don't want to rely on anyone else. But this person is just going to blow your mind and they're going to be amazing. Yes, finding the right path. All about finding the right path for you, getting on track again, taking the proactive steps to get your life back onto track, back on track, and bringing balance into your life once again. Beautiful synchronized messages. These are group one. Meditate. Yes, all about beginning. Um, getting rid of the negative talk. Start choosing and making proactive decisions for your life. Meditation will assist you guys greatly in um getting on the right track okay some beautiful lucky messages there for you guys i want to look at your spiritual and your um spiritual team right now of my spiritual deck and my biblical deck because i want to know who's there cheering you on helping you who has a message for group one through this time of their life this hardship they're going through what do you want to tell them about the rest of their year their abundance in 2021 jesus can't get any better than that can it 
Jesus is there watching over you. If you're ever in doubt, when you're feeling down, pray to Jesus. He's there to help you. Jesus will be there to protect you from the challenges of life. So whenever you're feeling challenged, whenever you're feeling down, remember he's there for you. He's watching over you. He's watch- Maybe he visits you in your dreams. He is there watching over you in your hardships, okay? I want to put him there so we can see him during this reading. Anyone else for group one who's here to assist him on their journey? Oh, that wanted to hop out. Archangel Orion helps with energy clearing, protection, releasing dark or negative energy or entities and the lighter side. He will help you to open, he will help you open to receive and understand the vast beauty, magic and high vibrational frequency now present. So there you go. You guys have got some meditating and chakra cleaning to do and it's all about clean, cleaning up your negative things. Your neg- oh my goodness, negative things, negative thought patterns and making proactive decisions to bring the good into your life. I'm going to put your true little spiritual helpers there, okay, because they're here to cheer you on. Let's get you some spiritual messages from my spiritual deck. What spiritual messages? Whoa. You have a lot of messages, apparently. You just got about 15 cards that flew out. Oh, that's too many. We're not taking all of them. Thank you. But we will take this one. Meditation again. You've got it twice now. Very important for you guys to meditate, okay? Meditate. Um, and you can get um, theme-focused meditations on YouTube. So what I think you guys have to focus on clearing out the clearing out the negative um, thinking, the overthinking, bringing abundance into your life, bringing good opportunities into your life and also listen to some good positive affirmations because they are really important for you at this time in your life, okay? Some guided theme-based meditations, okay? Telepathy, the ability to receive, (laughs) transmit or receive thoughts supernaturally. You guys are thinking and manifesting hard, okay? You've got to stop um, thinking about negative thoughts. We said transforming your thought patterns, okay? You've got to change the thought patterns in your head. And yes, medium. Some of you are seeking tarot for answers. Some of you may even want to speak to a medium for more guidance in your life or a medium for um, to connect with a loved one. Maybe this is about a loved one passing over and you haven't got closure or clarity. Maybe this is why you're having such a hard time at the moment. Whatever it is, seek out a medium, a trusted one that you um, think you connect with for some answers. Manifest. Yes, start manifesting the good in your life, the good to come into your life. Start manifesting um, the life you want to have. It's all in the power is in your hands. What's holding you back? See, what is holding you back? You're holding yourself back. You are holding yourself back from having the life that you want. It's all about switching the thought pattern and making proactive choices. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You're your number one cheerleader. You have Jesus and Archangel Orion on your side. They're there cheering you on, okay? They're your biggest cheerleaders at this point in time. Pray to them. If you need your help or ever feeling down, pray to them. They will give you the guidance that you seek. All right, what life decisions, what life choices are changing? It will happen sooner than you think. See, all about clearing the negativity, switching to a positive mind frame, and it will happen sooner than you think. Thank you, Spirit. What else do we want to tell Group 1 about their abundance for 2021? Maybe some of you need to start studying. Maybe some of you want to um, step out of the career you're in, and this is what you're having such a problem with, walking away from good income to start studying and starting a whole new field and it's giving you nightmares and sleepless nights, whatever it is. You're getting the green light from spirit to start studying. It's all going to be okay. This is your dream. Follow your dream. Start making yourself happy. Happy. Because until you start this, um, start making proactive choices to follow your dreams, nothing will happen anytime soon. Your life won't change. You'll be stuck in this endless cycle of being unhappy and not fulfilled within your work. So got to make the proactive decisions to start making you happy and following your own dreams okay job promotion yes this is about a new job and career for a lot of you as well it's being told in your family tarot so some of you have to walk away from a position in order to get this new job 
Um, and some of that includes study. So you've got to learn a new craft or you've got to learn how to do a new craft in order to get the job that you're desperately seeking. All about finding your happiness, putting your, um, putting your happiness as a priority, which you haven't done for quite some time. And I feel like once you do that, your world is going to start transforming, okay? Let's look at your love messages. Sexual feeling. It's an amazing sexual relationship. Some of you are not wanting love at this point in time. Some of you are going to meet somebody that you will connect with and it's just going to be a sexual um, relationship. I am being told to warn you about getting pregnant or STD, so make sure you use protection, okay? You've got a lot of healing to do still. Healing the issues. You don't trust at the moment. You don't want to let anyone in. you still got a lot of work to do within yourself and to make yourself happy. So you've got a lot of filling of your own cup to do before you can let anyone else in, okay? I do feel like you're going to be meeting someone this month and they're going to blow your mind and you're going to, they're going to assist you and transform your world and it is going to lead to that ongoing process of um, life transformations for you though. Clear messages I've got a couple of times now for you. Time away, a romantic getaway is called for, called for. I think either just take some time out for yourself, go to the beach, read a good book, um, start looking for your own study, start pouring into your own cup, have a romantic getaway by yourself, lock yourself in, turn your phone off, just have some time to yourself, start filling your own cup and you watch, you will start transforming, forming. your aura will just transform and your world will start transforming. You'll just... It's all about working on you and your happiness this for the rest of the year and making your happiness a priority in your life. All right, what do we need to, what do group one need to know? What does the universe want them to know about their abundance for 2021? Yes, note to oneself, you need to take time out to be by yourself, with yourself, to work on yourself, to bring happiness back into your world, to bring balance back into your world, to fill your cup up to the brim. Because you're on a journey at the moment. You're going through a complete change. One cycle of your world has ended and a new cycle is beginning. And that cycle is about discovering who you are and what you want to be and where you want to go in life. Any more messages about what they need to know? Yes. Because you're full of dusty illusions. You're on a path and you're like, which way do I go? What do I do? Do I go backwards? Do I go forwards? Why can't I get rid of the past? You're just full of mind fuckery and you don't know how to transform that at the moment. Yep, again, fear. You're fearful to move forward alone. A lot of you, some of you, for some of you, this has been a relationship breakup and you don't know how to move forward and be alone. You've got to learn to be alone, be okay with being alone and um, move forward being alone by yourself. Be okay with being alone. Be okay with rediscovering you and getting back on your path, okay? What else does group one need to know? This is a message from the universe a message from the universe here they are sending you this message through me as a vessel and talking to the moon is beneficial for you next full moon we have get out there talk to the moon like you would a good friend release the past start manifesting the future you want tell the moon about the future you want tell them what you want to bring in tell them the experiences and um, life you want to have start manifesting positivity back into your own life okay now we've finished with the cards now, which is very positive. I'm going to get you some charms. I'm going to get you some charms to finish off your reading. Whatever lands in your focus palm is what especially you need to focus on. Okay? Group one, what do we want to tell them? Oh, okay. All right. So we have, oh, the Virgin Mary. So showing up for you strong is Jesus and Virgin Mary. So some of you may be affected by a mother um, figure, aunt figure, older, older woman may be coming in to help you with your life as well. But very important here, Jesus and Mary. So if you are very spiritual, also pray to Mother Mary. She's there to help you on your journey. Also, what else do we have? USA, some of you may be in the USA. Just say hi if you are in the USA. Some of you may be traveling in the USA. USA is relevant for some of you people watching this what do we have and sweet some of you just want a sweet life some of you just want happiness which is what we all want you have a lot landing in your focus palm okay and you have the chain which is half on and half off and look at all this chain to it look all what is going on here okay you've got 
just let me separate this. So you've got the flower. So a lot of you have, um, would benefit from grounding your energy, getting out in nature, going on a hike, releasing your negative energy to um, the elements. That is important message to tell you here. What else have we got here? This is your mind. Look, it is all messed up, all intertwined. And as I say that, it all falls apart. You feel chained to your life. You feel like you can't escape it. You feel like there's no escaping it. And you feel like... You're just stuck in this cluster of negativity. But you aren't. I'm going to untangle this and you're going to change your world and it is going to transform through positive affirmations, meditation, grounding your energy, getting out in nature and praying to your guides that show, showed up for you. Okay, so you're very chained to your life. Look at this. I'm going to release it though. I will release it. Like you will release it. There we go. It will break free, okay? It will get better, don't worry. And yeah, look, so what have we got on these little charms for you? We have money, so imp finances improving, spirituality, belief in God and the spiritual realm improving, Mother Mary again showing up, and winter. So winter is in July, so that's relevant to showing up twice for you guys now. Life is transforming in July. Oh, staples. We've got staples falling out. So, yes, life is coming together for you. Animal therapy. You guys just want a sweet life, a sweet pampered life like a cat, okay? Some of you, again, talking, could, this could be talking to your sexual relationship is coming up. So, just identifying that. Just be careful, okay? Some of you could benefit from getting an animal as well. What else do we have here? Yep, again, some of you are getting very sexual this month. Sweet, juicy cherry, be careful. Turtle, slow going. Don't rush into any hasty decisions. Take your time and breeze through life. Some of you are moving or going on a holiday. USA could be relevant. Some of you, some of you are traveling to the USA or moving locations in the USA. Pinpoint came out. Starfish, so adaptability and versatility. Some of you are stuck in your ways of life, but you will adapt to your new changes that are coming in. Again, moon energy. Moon is very important. Pray to the moon. It's shown up twice now. And the universe is really talking to you because you've got star and hope. It's saying you are in charge of your destiny. Manifest and create the life you want because you're in charge of your destiny. You can create the life you want. Again, nature. So, um... Get out in nature. You've been told twice now. You are manifesting love. So love is important for you. You want love to come into your life. Again, I do think that um, you've got some grapes. So again, nature. Get out in nature. Maybe have some wine. But maybe if you have some wine, wear some protection because you don't want to be sleeping around with nasty people. An umbrella here. You are shielded. You are protected. You are loved by your guides. They are watching you and protecting you from the elements, okay? So really just take your time with any decision that you make this for the rest of the year. Don't make any hasty decisions. Make sure you always think before you act. Um, but lots of good, change, good positive changes coming in for you, okay, group one? I hope you enjoyed your reading. Take care. Bye. Group two, hi and welcome to your reading about what abundance is coming into you in for you for 2000 the rest of 2021 let's start with your blessings let's find out what is happening from your for the rest of 2021 listen to your inner voice some of you are being called to listen to your intuition in listen to the niggle listen to your gut feeling new beginnings are coming some of you are going through a complete ending and a new cycle will beginning soon you will get your dream car have you been manifesting a new vehicle? If so, some of you will be getting a new vehicle. Exciting news, group number two. For some of you, remember, always take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't, okay? These are general readings, all right? All right, let's look at your tarot messages. Oh, again, beautiful. The world indicating that ending and new beginning that we talked about. So the world indicates complete endings of one cycle and beginnings brings about a new cycle so you've learned your lessons and a part of your world is closing at the moment a cycle is ending and a complete new beginning is starting for you at this point in time 
it is a victor- victorious time coming up for you, group number two. So if you're going through a legal battle, if you're going through any type of, um, you know, prom- you're looking for a promotion, you're looking to gain that relationship, you're looking to lose the weight, whatever situation you're going through at the moment, you're going to have victory very shortly. Very, Or you're going to see subtle changes or results, okay? For some of you, it's going to be fast success. For some of you, it's going to be a slight improvement on what your change you're trying to bring in because you do doubt yourself quite a lot and in these moments of doubt is when the situation comes about and changes okay you're manifesting some complete change in your life you're manifesting a person a promotion or change completely in your world but you have moments of doubt moments of inaction moments of why am I bothering to do this and that is causing you to have delayed success okay so stop doubting start doing start being proactive let's what else what other messages do we have about group two's abundance in 2021 queen of wands yes staying optimistic though some of you are dealing with or could be a fire sign just um mentioning that you could be dealing with or meeting a fire sign could be important to you guys um, could be a female come an older female mature female coming into your life that helps you transform and take you to the next step of your um, chapter so maybe for example you meet a woman you go for a job interview and you really click with her and she's a fire sign and she's older and she will give you the job that you're looking for that's just a small example there okay so seek out um, mentor mentor menteeship came to mind as well so very important for you at this point in time. Um, relationships is also successful. You'll meet someone this year or if you've been stagnant in a relationship you're with, um, say you've been dating someone for a long time and they haven't proposed or you haven't moved in with them, whatever, you will be getting your Ten of Cups as well this year. I'm, I'm hearing mid-September, July to September. So um, expect some change and you for you to get your Ten of Cups. So Again, a message, if you're with somebody, you will be taking your next step in a relationship with them. If you're single AF, you will be um, meeting someone and it will lead eventually to your Ten of Cups. I feel pulled to pull one or two more cards just to get some more information about your abundance for the rest of the year. Yep, it's coming fast. All these changes are coming in very fast. It's just your doubtfulness and your inaction and your negative thinking that sometimes gives you delayed reactions okay this flew out what's this card yes stop deceiving yourself once you stop deceiving yourself and feeling your mind full of self-doubt and negativity your world will transform and your changes will come in steadfast okay thank you for backing up backing that up there for me spirit that's a beautiful message to receive we're looking at your finances and career now. What can we tell group two about their finances and career with my career and money deck? I am using all of my own decks. So if you'd like to purchase any of them or order any of them, the link will be below, okay? Ooh, two money messages. What's the bottom of the deck? Leadership. Take charge of your situation. Yes, so you guys are currently in a situation where you're seeking the ultimate lifestyle change. So take charge of it. Get rid of the mindfulness. Get rid of the, sorry, get rid of the negative self-talk. Keep in mind positive mindfulness and you will be successful, okay? So you've got six of pentacles and king of wands. When it comes to money, I feel like you are very balanced you have savings put away or you're going to start a savings account you are going to be very um smart when it comes to money you're not going to waste it you're not going to go out shopping and splurge or anything you're planning for the future um king of wands is very full of um you know energy doing the right thing and you got it with six of pentacles so it's very balanced very smart very well educated and very thoughtful when it comes to money. So you're not going to waste money. You are going to plan for the future that you want. And you are doing the right thing when it comes in regards to money in your life. Okay. Let's have a look at um, which house you need to concentrate on. This is my tarot deck. Zodiac deck, sorry. You need to be concentrating on your eighth house. It is a mysterious sector that rules birth, death, sex, transformation, mysterious mysteries merge energies and bonding at the deepest level so again for some of you it is as simple as 
manifesting that relationship you want to come desperately into your life manifesting this complete transformation because I feel like you guys have a lot um, going on at the moment and you're going through a complete change you ended one cycle a tough cycle and you're coming into a new um, phase of life and it is going to be a very successful phase for you a complete change I'm being told so again for some of you it's about relationships you know what your situation is about I'm just highlighting here that it will be successful okay and it is and spirit is also highlighting that it's just your journey. You're on the right path. Stay true, okay? Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or are an Aquarius. Um, and these are some things that could be, or somebody that you could be meeting, could be a partner that could be coming into your life. Um, and it is an air sign. And they're, they're free-spirited, eccentric, can be often identified as offbeat, fashion and sensibility. Okay. They're identified by their, oh, by their, oh my God, I can't even read my mind. I have a head cold and I've had it for a week now and I keep doing all this tarot work and I've been told to rest, but I really don't want to. I really want to keep pouring my effort into you guys and focusing on helping you guys. Okay. So I'm going to start this again. You could be meeting an Aquarius or you are an Aquarian and a these air signs despise authority and anything that represents conventionality. Free-spirited and eccentric, they can often be identified by their offbeat fashion sensibilities, unusual hobbies, and non-conformist attitude. Okay, so you could be meeting an Aquarian or you are an Aquarian. This could just be highlighting um, someone coming into your life or saying it's you or a Taurus. You guys could be meeting a Taurus as well. These are my angel and zodiac um, number cards. And um, you're not getting any angel numbers. So this is definitely talking about you and someone that could be coming to your life, okay? So this, the person, if you meet a Taurus, they are stoic, determined, ambitious, materialistic, famous for their stubbornness. But there's more to them than they're a bit dark. They're a bit of a dark horse. Ruled by the planet Venus, which is love. So love definitely coming in for some of you. They share their traits of beauty, artistry, artistry, hedonism, and a love of luxury. Okay, so some of you are definitely getting love, and they're going to be a Taurus or an Aquarius, but that could also be you as well, okay? Well, I'm going to jump to love because we just um, highlighted on love for you guys. Let's jump and look into your love. Soulmate, soulmate coming in for you guys, or you're already in a soulmate relationship, but I feel like it's brand new love for the ones that are single, okay? Self-love. Time to concentrate on you. Learn to love yourself first. Be happy with just you before you can offer yourself someone new. Maybe this is what you're going through at the moment. You're working on um, filling your last requirements of your own life to make yourself happy, to fill your own cup, to make sure you're happy as a complete whole unit before the universe brings your next person in yes because in the past you fell for people and you'd ignored their red flags remember the universe shows those red flags and they keep making to so the person that they're with they keep making them repeat the same mistakes and hurt us over and over again until we finally learn the lesson and hurt enough and remove them from our life and walk away because there is always someone better out there for us Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are watching over you and sending you someone. Your loved one in heaven is sending you someone, sending this soulmate into you, in for you. Talk to your people. Your circle loves and support you. Again, matching up with this hello from heaven. You've been speaking to one of your relatives that have passed away in spirit and they have heard you loud and clear and they are bringing this soulmate in for you. Beautiful, beautiful message there. Speaking of spiritual messages, let's have a look at your spiritual messages for the rest of 2021, your abundance. What is? What can we tell group to you about their spiritual messages? Yes, you can't, sometimes that's what I mean. You're going through a complete life change and you do vibrate, vibrate low love. You do vibrate low sometimes, which is fine. We all go through ups and downs. We all go through healings and healings messy. Work within your own time. There's no rush. You're on your own frequency. You're on your own journey. Don't rush your healing journey. You do believe in magic. That's why you're watching Tarot. That's why you're seeking the answers to what's coming for the rest of your 2021. This is why you're seeking out this reading. And it's a beautiful thing to believe in magic. 
energy medicine, the ability to heal with one's own empathetic, ether, etheric, astral, mental or spiritual energy. So some of you guys are spiritual workers. Some of you guys are empaths or working in a spiritual field already. Beautiful. Welcome to my world. I love you people. We are earth angels. We are vessels sent to deliver messages to others from heaven. So you're really good at healing your own energy. You're good at being alone. You're good at um, bouncing back, which is an amazing skill to have because I have that skill as well. Well, YouTube, yes, you are on YouTube watching me. I feel like sometimes you are watching way too much YouTube and seeking valid validation about your life and search and um, about your life and circumstances and social media as well. Way too much effort and time sat on social media. Get out in nature, go on a walk, walk your dog, whatever it is. You need to get off these um, platforms and start investing in you and um, getting out into nature and grounding your energy a bit more, okay? Let's have a look who's on your spiritual team that is helping you through this time in your life. Beautiful. Angel wings protection. What did I just say? For those of you that are empaths, that are in the field, you are earth angels. You are working with God and the universe and you are delivering messages via you as a vessel to other people. Beautiful. And the Hierophant was also known as the teacher of wisdom in most in a graphic direct this I can't talk today, I swear to God. The Hierophant, also known as the teacher of wisdom in most inner graphic depictions, the Hierophant is seen seated on the throne between two pillars symbolizing law and liberty or obedience and disobedience. According to different interpretations, he wears a triple crown and the keys to heaven are at his feet. Wow, see, you guys are earth angels. You are here as light workers, as star seeds. You are in the right field. Maybe some of you don't even know this. For those of you that aren't light workers or aren't empaths or aren't working in the field, you are being called to this field. You need to be working in this field and you need to be delivering messages to people and you need to put on your little angel wings and become a vessel and deliver God's messages and the universe's messages to people. That is some of you, your calling. Some of you are going to go through this spiritual awakening. Some of you are going to um, step into the realm and help people. Some of you are being called to do this. How exciting. All right, let's see what life changes are happening. They just flipped out so fast. Finality, yes. Again, world card. A cycle is ending. A new cycle is beginning for you. Yes. Whatever question you have, whatever you're going through, yes, it will be successful. Yes, you will be okay. Yes, everything will work out in the end. You're going to be financially stable. Everything will be fine. If you're stepping away from a job, if you're stepping away from a situation, know that um, you're going to be financially stable. You're going to be okay. You already know you're going to be okay. You already know the answers. Whatever your questions are, you're going to be okay. You already know you're going to be okay. And some of you are going to... Step into the light, step into your calling, step into your what you're meant to be doing on this earth. Okay? Job promotion. You already know. You're being called to do this. So come on, come and join our tribe. Come along. Come and join our family. Alright, let's look at your fortune cards. We've got fortune cookies and we've got lucky macaroons. 2021 abundance oh that flipped out so fast a friend only a friend asks only for your time not your money yes so some of you have been dealing with people that have been taking advantage of your kind nature have been taking advantage of you for your money or material things a friend that is not a friend a friend is there when you're crying a friend is there to pick you up from the side of the road at 3 a.m a friend is there to pick up the phone at 2 a.m when you're crying a friend goes be above and beyond no matter what means you're in, okay? Look for the good people in your life and get rid of people that don't do this in your life because they're not worth it. Beauty in its various forms appeal to you. Yes, do you find yourself drawn to 
different things. You find yourself drawn to different objects, different things, different people. You're a light worker. You're being called to the light. It is drawing you in. Listen to it. Okay, let's get you some manifesting Alice cards. Cash. So again, you guys, when you step into the light and you realize how natural this work comes to you, a lot of it is done for free, yes, and I do a lot of free and don't even take people's money and just help people, but you get rewarded in so many different ways. Like, for example, I've been wanting a Nintendo, Super Nintendo for a long time now and I could never afford one and I saw one on Marketplace for like $100 and I was like, I can afford that when they're usually going for $300. The universe brings things and situations and people into your life to reward you in other ways. So it's not all about money. But it's showing you're going to be very successful when you step into your truth and start your job as a light worker. You're going to be rewarded, not from people as such, maybe on YouTube and social media. That's another message coming through. Um, on social media, on social media, and YouTube. If you start a YouTube tarot channel, um, you're going to be re rewarded in a way of, um, you know, how YouTube pay for ads and um once you get a number, certain number of followings you get donations and things like that so yeah you're going to be this is going to be a rewarding career for you because you need to take time out and be alone first and you are going through this alone journey you're in this you're in this energy at the moment of being alone and figuring out your calling you're being called to take a step forward and step into your calling and this is your calling for a lot of you it is about spiritual work and becoming a light worker and delivering these messages as I am delivering to you right now. Wow, that's really exciting. Let's finish your card reading off with what you need to know from the universe. Yes, this is you looking at your window, thinking, what am I meant to be doing? This is the great beyond. What is calling me? You know the universe is calling you and you're about to answer, answer it. You're about to step into your life with your tribe, with your fellow light workers, and you're going to feel such an amazing weight lifted off your shoulder, shoulders. You feel like you don't fit in at the moment, and you're going to step into your tribe. You're going to find your tribe, and you're like, this per these people just get me. I'm so excited because you've been look having a polarized view of your life at the moment. Nothing's making sense to you. And when you connect with your tribe and when you start your light work duties, your whole world will transform. Beautiful messages there. All right, we're going to finish your reading off with some charms. Whatever lands in the palm is what you need to focus on. Otherwise, let's get into your... What messages do we have for group two? Oh, okay. So twice, you got the two little hooks. So your life is definitely... At a stage of turning around, complete change is coming, new direction is coming. Your happiness is coming. This is going to be the happiest time of your life when you find your calling. And look, the lock is down here, off the hand. And the key to your future and happiness is in your hand. I'm leaving it on that note group too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your abundance video of 2021. Take care. Bye. Group three, hi and welcome to your reading about what abundance is coming into you for 2021. We're going to start with your blessings, so let's jump in and get your messages, shall we? A new beginning is coming, very similar to group number one and two, we both got these messages. So a new beginning is coming and in four months time, a complete new transformation is going to happen in your life. So let's Google, let's Google. Why did I say Google? Maybe some of you are going to start working at Google or going to start Googling um, new life choices of, about where you want to be or go in four months time. What's happening for group three in four months time? What new beginning? In action at the moment. So you're not taking any action towards this at the moment. You are tempted to though. I feel like a lot of you are going to get a new beginning in love. Some of you are attached at the moment, but you're not happy, but you're too scared to walk away and end your relationship to, I feel like a lot of you have met someone new, and but you're with somebody and in order to be with this new person, you need to step away from them to be with them. But you're too scared. You're too scared to do this. What's keeping you scared? 
Yes, you've got to step into your emperor energy. You've got to take control of the situation. You've got to end it with the person you're currently with because this new person that you meant, they're a soulmate. They're a very karmic relationship. That's why you can't get them off your mind, but you're scared and you're trapped in this energy of it's going nowhere and it will go nowhere. I can't leave. Like maybe you've got kids with the person you're with now. Maybe you've been with them for a long time, but the new person that you've met completely has blown your mind and you can't get them off your mind. That's a soulmate. That's a karmic relationship. So um, nothing's happening. It's inactivity. But in four months' time, the lovers, new relationship, new beginning in love, complete transformation in your life. Four months' time, new love is coming. Tarot does not lie, my friends. Beautiful message there. You got an extra message, a bonus message. All right, let's jump in. What other messages can we tell group three about their abundance for 2021? Letting go of situation again. We've got the Ten of Swords. So letting go of a situation that's no longer serving you. So within four months, so July, it's April, April now. Whenever you see this video, though, it's irrelevant from the time you see it, okay? Letting go of a situation, ending a cycle, putting those wands down, putting the swords down, and walking away completely. Starting this new beginning, taking your journey towards this new beginning in love. Brand new Ace of Wands beginning. Brand new beautiful chapter awaits you. But you're scared. Scared that you'll miss the opportunity if you don't leave this situation that you're in. Put those swords down and make your way towards your new love. This Ace of Wands and Ace of Wands energy. Because you found your Empress. You have found your Empress. This is the queen you want to be with. King, queen, gender specific, whatever it is. Take it as it resonates. This is the person you love. The Empress encompasses the four queens of the tarot. Um, so you know this is the person. You know this is the person you want to be with. You're scared. To, again, remember, a lot of you are already connected with somebody. If you're not, just take it as it resonates. Um, if you are single and you don't want to um, make your way towards this person that you're crushing on at the moment, you're doing it because A, you're scared of fear or rejection. And you don't want to, you're sick of being alone. You don't want to be heartbroken because if this person rejects you, you think that they're your world. You think that they're everything to you. And you're afraid that you will be alone and heartbroken if they reject you. Isn't it better to know than not know and live in the unknown? Yes. You're not being strong. You're not being your strength. You're not taking action towards it because of the fear. That you're letting the fear take, overtake your life. Okay? You've got to take this up. You've got to take the um, proactive step to find your happiness, to get your two of cups. Otherwise, nothing is going to happen. You've got the lovers and two of cups now, so you've got to find your strength. You've got to find your um, determination. It will work out in the end. You've just got to make those steps towards that person and let your feelings be known, okay? I'm going to jump into um, family changes. So let's have a look at your family changes. These are my own decks, by the way. If you'd like to purchase any of them, the links are below. Yes, this person is meant to be. They are your soulmate. They are coming in for a reason. You know it, you think it, you feel it in every being of your body, in every cell of your body. You will have, go on to have a, children, a child with them and it will be a girl. If you can't have children or you're beyond children age, um, they may have a child already and it may be a girl. Hope at the end of the tunnel. You're letting fear overtake your life, but there is hope. You are meant to be with this person. You've heard it how many times now? Don't give out your number to anyone else. Stay focused on this one person. Get off dating apps. Concentrate on this one person. Manifest this person into your life because you'll be caught out otherwise. The universe will be like, oh, someone's going to be caught out. I get it. For those of you that are in a connection already, you will be caught out. So it's better to be honest and leave the connection before you make any attempts to connect with this new person, okay? Because it will come out and it won't be a fun situation. You don't want to hurt anybody. Um, you're caught between a rock and a hard place. You don't want to hurt anyone, but you've got to think of your happiness and you can't get this person off your mind and you're in a dead-end relationship. So you really need to start thinking of your happiness as a priority, okay? I'm going to jump into your spiritual messages because I don't feel like I want to be jumping into career finance at the moment, but I will get to it, don't worry. Let's get your spiritual messages. What's holding you back? Fear, doubtfulness, rejection, the fear of rejection. 
Stop holding yourself back. Stop questioning yourself. You know what you need to do, so do it. Again, meditation is important for you guys. So um, meditate. Ground your energy. Really relax and plan out what you're going to say to the person you're with or what action you're going to take towards the person you want to be with. Make a plan. Relax your energy. Take a cool, um, calm, cool approach towards it and seek out what you want. You are the seeker. You have found what you want in your life, what will make you happy. And um, you need to take the right approach towards it now. Astrologer, Reiki and yoga. So again, talking a lot about relaxing your energy. Um, maybe you're astrologically, astrologically matched as well, which is a good thing. But a lot of spirituality coming out. It's, it is focusing a lot on what's holding you back and you've got to make a proper plan in order to get the love that you want and in order to get the person you want to come into your life. Um, so just do it a lot of thought. Try not to hurt anyone in the process. I know leaving someone, for those of you that are attached in a relationship, is not going to be easy. But you've got to think of your own happiness at the end of the day, okay? All right, let's see who's on your biblical team shouting a message out to you. Joshua. Joshua was a major figure in the events of the Exodus. He was charged by Moses with selecting and commanding a militia group for their first battle after exiting Egypt. You know what this is telling me? You need to take a calm, cool approach. You need to take a well thought out plan for those of you that are in a connection already and children are affected by this connection or you've been together a long time and you're scared of hurting someone. You need to take a really, like you first of all, ground your energy, ground that shit down and make the choice. Once you make the choice, make a plan. Approach this person calmly, explain. Don't tell them straight away that you've met someone new, but just say it's not working out, blah, blah, blah. Tell them how you're feeling honestly. You need a break. You need to step away. Once you've had some time away, you've got to think of this other person's feeling because you don't want to be malicious, okay? It's never nice to be malicious to someone. Once you've taken some time away from this person and healed or it's broken off completely, and you've healed as well, not only them, you need to heal as well because this is your journey as well. You need to then and only then approach this new person. Just don't jump from one to the other. It's not doesn't work like that and it will just fail okay so really think think out what you need to do think out the approach you need to take and really th keep people's feelings in mind that's what joshua is telling you here in this biblical card okay yes because at the end of the day you will get the commitment you want the hierophant is showing up for you as well he is here telling you you will get the commitment you want at the end of the day this is a soulmate karmic relation coming in for you um, it is meant to be, the universe is willing it to be, but you just need to take this um, the proper approach towards this, okay? Really plan it out, try not to hurt anyone's feelings, try not to, um, yeah, jump from one situation to the other, just take a cool, calm and collective approach and all will be okay in the end, all right? All right let's actually, I'll do the love. Let's do your love messages for 2021, rest of 2021. Kids, you will have babies with them or they take on the parenting role within your relationship. Again, saying you will go on to have a family with this person or they already have children that um, you will take on the parenting role with. Attraction, you're feeling sexy as fuck and you reciprocate love. Yes, it's an instant attraction. I feel like a lot of you already met this person. And you can't get them off your mind. You pull to them constantly and you think about them constantly. As I said, they're in every fiber of your being. They're your soulmate, that's why. There is always new love even after the hardest breakup. New love is always but for you. Again, this is some of you already in a connection. You're in a connection and you don't know how to get out of it. So again, just going back to um, make a plan. Try not to hurt anyone's feelings and try not to jump from relationship to relationship, okay? best advice I can give you let's look at what house you need to concentrate on and this is like the astrological houses that flipped out so that's for you 11th house rules the 11th house rules teams friendships groups society technology video and electronic media rebellion and humanitarian causes 
causes. It also rules originality, eccentricity, sudden events, surprises, intention, astronomy, science fiction, and all things futuristic. Again, focusing on finishing one cycle properly and planning on doing it properly without hurting anyone's feelings before you can complete the 12th stage in the relationship you're in and move on to the future you want to have. You're planning for yourself. I feel like you're planning this in your head. You're going... Um, you know, you plan the future you want with this person. You can see the house, you can see the wedding, you can see you've planned everything to a T. And you can have this life you want. You just need to do it properly and end things properly with the person you're currently with, okay? Key is to not hurt anyone's feelings here. Be the honorable person that you are at the end of the day. Lucky though. Angel number 777 brings a message from your angels that you're on the right path and living and serving your divine life purpose. The universe is happy with your progress and due to your positive efforts and hard work, you have earned rewards and your reward is your soulmate coming in. Number seven, lucky number seven. It is going to happen sooner rather than later. So congratulations for you. Right, I'm jumping now to your career and finances because we skipped over this. It came out really fast. Heart's desires, it's referring back to your love. It's all about love for you guys. You know what you want to do with your life. The universe is supporting you in this endeavor. Get out there and do it. I don't even need to explain that because this is supposed to be about career and finances, but it's all about <laughs> taking control of your life. Leadership, taking charge of you, taking control of your situation. It doesn't universe doesn't even want you to know about career and finances at the moment. They want you to concentrate on your love situation. So Concentrate on your love situation, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll shut up now about career and finances, universe. I couldn't leave them out because I did it for every other group. That's not fair. All right, let's get you a lucky fortune cookie. Lucky macaroon and fortune cookie. I feel like this card at the back was digging me, so I'm going to take it out. A beautiful, smart, and loving person will be coming into your life. Wow. I don't need to explain that, do I? You already know. A lot of you already know. Let's get you a lucky macaroon. Why am I being drawn to the back? At the touch of love, everybody becomes a poet. This is the stage you're getting to. With this new person that's coming into your life, you're going to feel like Shakespeare. Like your life's just a poem and you're living a dream. Such soppy soppiness, isn't it? <laughs> All right, manifesting Alice cards. What's going on? Goals. This person is your goals and you're going to achieve them. What else do group three need to know? Oh, self-love. You're full of self-love. You don't want to hurt anyone. A new day is coming. Brand new start is coming. Taking a step forward towards your destiny. Very straightforward, but um, yeah, it's all about this person and this love for you. Let's get you what you need to know with my knowledge deck. We have forbidden fruit. Yes, talking about your fear of getting rejected, of taking your step towards this person because you're in a relationship already and you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. That is not left your brain. That is the highlight of your present situation. So just take a slow approach, slow planned approach, cool and calm um, approach okay yes take the direction you can't get this person off your mind so you will whatever you do the direction will always lead back to them you're staying strong during this time let's get your strength and the th thought of the life with them is getting you through this time in your life because you know it will lead to magical times nothing but magical times they are your destiny the universe wants you to have your destined person so it is going to happen sooner rather than later okay let's finish your reading off with some charms whatever lines in your palm is what you need to focus on i think you guys need to know already already know what you need to focus on okay so in your palm you got mascara wand so you're gonna get dressed up you're gonna look amazing and you're gonna go after this person very soon Again, highlighting child with this person or children with them. Um, we've got USA, idea, idea twice, again, and sing. The idea of them is already in your head. That's what I'm saying to you. They're there. The idea of having a laugh without them makes you feel sick. 
maybe you have a song that reminds them of you and some of you could be from the USA just highlighting that as well the screw um, the the theme of your life is coming together the building blocks are coming together the screw is the only thing missing to hang that picture up or to you know put the final screw in the woodwork it is all coming together what do we have here shell again beautiful beautiful soft shell this person reminds you of like they just you want to take them away to a tropical oasis and you want to have oh, beautiful romance with you because you also got a fun look some of you may be in a tropical area maybe some of you go on a tropical date with this person romantic adventure to the beach very highlighted there with the thong flip-flop and the um shell beach maybe you meet them at the beach maybe you met them at the beach maybe you go on a beach date something is important to do with the beach here okay pinpoints so for some of you may be traveling or at a distance from this person maybe they're in the USA and you're in a different country or if you're in the USA they're in a different part of the USA from you again there's deception here so you don't want to hurt anyone you don't want to deceive anyone if you're with a current partner you need to come clean with them and tell them about what's going on and how you're feeling okay clear up any deception towards before you move towards your love because this love this person is what you want at the end of the day and it's highlighted throughout your whole reading they are your sweet sweet pussy cats and you want to have fun sexy times with them i don't know why i did a really full-on yucky voice then i'm very sorry for that Group three, this is where I'm ending your reading. Lots of um, luck in your new love adventures. Please remember to not hurt anyone. Please stay calm, cool and collected towards your approach. Do not hurt anyone's feelings. Stay grounded. Have a beautiful rest of 2021. Take care. Bye.